in practice, if, if we really take the, the practice perspective here, uh, I really relate to what Chris said earlier about planning uh, being somewhat of a hurdle. Uh, I mean, uh, if I look at it from an energy transition perspective, uh, our like physical space cannot keep up with like the actual demand of what we would like to do right now. If you take, I don't know, solar parks for an example, um, the all, all the planning procedures take so much time compared to the actual realization of a of a solar park. Uh, yeah, I it's 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 crazy if you think about it because if if we look at the video we had earlier uh yeah the urge is huge to realize those parks and uh, planners appear to be a problem in that case on the other hand i do think we really need them and and that's because i think that mostly the market looks too much from their own perspective um which is mostly profit i mean I have to be honest about that too. Um, look at solar parks again, for example, uh, uh, developers can put their solar parks pretty much anywhere. Uh, and that means that we as a grid company need to deliver a connection to the grid for them at pretty much any cost. While if you just change the location a little bit, uh, the societal cost of that connection could be way, way lower. Uh, and that makes that the energy transition becomes expensive, which isn't needed, but that's, well, the logical result of the way we plan. Um, and it also creates very long lead times because we need to make the connections on places where it, from a grid perspective, doesn't really make sense to make connections. So if, if you look from that perspective, you do need a planner to, well, I would say coordinate a bit uh, in, in all those uh, interests and make sure that the actual societal need is met there. Um, and I was, I was thinking like, what would you need then uh, to, to meet it? And I agree with what has been said before about needing some kind of gut or being like strong on uh, the way you're going with sustainability uh, because in one pilot we did, it's called Energie on Rijksgronde, so energy on uh, governmental space, I guess. Um, we met some planners that were actually very innovative and they were making, well, they were pretty much bending all the rules and that was a great pilot. Everything worked out and, well, parks got realized in like a fraction of the time that is normally needed. But the only way it worked was because it was a pilot. All the planners felt like, oh, it's a pilot, we can, well, make it work. But as soon as you start talking about, okay, and now we have the conclusions, it worked fine, let's change regulations. Well, the conversation stops, I guess.